Hi everybody, it's Susie Libertor, Art Director and Owner of Visions to Images, and I help get your brand on track, everything from your logo to your social media and everything in between. Um, and I'm here interviewing Marie Mason today with CM Virtual Assistance Agency, and she helps um, do VA work for people who have webinars and are launching. So I just want her to step in and tell us a little bit about you. Awesome. So I appreciate that. Um, Basic. Did you want to learn more about my story, or or just just about me in general? Either or. Both of them kind of combined together. I think so. You know, kind of just tell me your story and how you got started, and a little bit about. Okay. Um. Perfect. So I'm going to try to keep it real simple <laughs> and short and sweet. Um. But basically, in um, well, I'm going to start a little bit further back. Um. In 2016, my mom fell and broke her hip and I had to transport her. I had to go back and forth to DC and Charlottesville, Virginia. And that's about a two or three hour trek each way. So I spent a lot of time helping her out and I was trying to, and I was job hunting. And then in 2017, I came across a website where you had to pay for your services to job hunt. Um, and I felt like you shouldn't have to pay for the privilege to go and find work. <laughs> so, and they, all those jobs, wanted you to have a virtual assistant um, website. So I said, well, if I'm gonna go through all the trouble of doing all this, I might also just start my own agency. So the concept of virtual assistant agency came into play. I had no idea what that was. So I had to do a lot of research. <laughs> yeah, yep, that's so true, yes. <laughs> I did a lot of research and I um, basically, it just basically transpired into, um, into a went into working for webinars. I started off with a different niche in 2018 when I launched it, um, and then quickly realized that I really liked helping um, doing event management. I liked helping with moderating in the chat rooms. I loved working with um, uh, what's the word uh, marketing aspect of it. Um, didn't really like the bookkeeping part or the um, or even had any knowledge on how to do video editing or any of that stuff, but I knew that I could outsource that. So I just started creating a team and then I started getting people asking me, do you have a position for me? And I'm like, well, I might, but I don't have any customers yet. My <laughs> ones, but you're welcome to join my team. And now I have a team of like 15 or 16, maybe even 17 people that are just ready for work basically. Um, and they all believe in the concept. They're all on boarded. They're all ready to go. So that's awesome. That's great that you're able to supply the jobs with that. So yeah. Um, okay, my next question for you is um, if I can find it. What are you most excited about in your business? Like, what are you, what are you kind of working on right now? I know her and I are actually working on some collaborations, so that's going to be exciting coming up for everybody. So keep an eye out for that. But what are you excited for? Um, really about my whole agency. Um, I think my the starting with my event team. Um, I onboarded some people that are most of them are on the on the team are about at least three years of experience or more in their industry. So um, I'm rather excited to share them with my uh, customers and and so forth. Uh, they really are phenomenal. They've been helping me tweak a few things here and there. So they've been, they definitely know what they're doing. Um, we basically offer customized services packages. And um, basically what that means is uh, it's, it's not to negotiate the prices but more of if they need a specific uh, service and they might not want something else, then they can mix and match the services to customize to work for their particular webinar because not everybody is going to need a bookkeeper or video editor, but they might need a marketer or in a moderator, but they may not need a manager. So it's, it's something where they can pick and choose how they want to design it. Um, we also are excited about our done for you packages and templates um, and so forth. So there's some like for email marketing and blog posts, there's some templates they can use and follow that method method. But sometimes it's hard to be always creative. So you have to come up with some ideas and solutions. Um, 
yeah. we're definitely um, really excited about our top three benefits too. Um, we like to engage with your audience. Um, that way you don't have to do all the work for it. Um, we also can host uh, webinars on our own platform and we use Zoom as well. So I know you use Zoom, so that's always a good platform. Yeah, um, just getting started with using it. Um, a lot of people that I collaborate and work with, like they use it, but I had to kind of know the ins and outs for my meetings today to be able to record. So it's, it's very interesting to learn another gear of technology. <laughs> It's always good to learn something new. I, that's why, and we're willing to work with other platforms, but I, I find that I'm more familiar with Zoom, and Zoom's really becoming a very popular one, actually. Mm -hmm. um, it's head and shoulders above a lot of others. So, um, but we also do offer um, personalized virtual event management. So um, basically, we just walk them through all the steps and just kind of really sit down and um, fine tune things. But I'm really just more. Um, excited about even doing more um podcasts i have some more podcasts i'm going to be coming up in the future um both for showing casing our agency and services but also i'm going to be doing some podcasts for other different groups that have asked me to do that too so and i might be doing some training um in november for a virtual assistant group that i, I haven't heard that but i've been i've been asked so um yeah That's there's a lot awesome. of good things yeah, that sounds like you're going to be busy. Um, and I love that's the plan. <laughs> that's the plan. That's great, though. I love the podcast. Um, just I'm I've been on so many and whatnot. They're just a great thing right now to have and to know and to do. So that's great that you're getting involved with that. Um, one more question, and then I want to know where I, people can find you. But first, let's talk about um, what advice would you give somebody who is just starting off um, as with the entrepreneurial journey, wherever they are. Okay, awesome. Uh, one of the things I had wish I had done um, when I had first learned was um, first be confident in the things that you already know how to do. Uh, yeah. Just take a look and review all the stuff that you already know because um, what you bring to the table, um, you'd be surprised what people are so uncertain of themselves and they really have a lot more skills that they can offer somebody. And uh, just take a look at what you already know. So you don't have to go and spinning your wheels and trying to learn something new. You can do that along the way, but start with what you know. And that's something I kind of wish I had learned to do <laughs> and stuff. Um, know what your niche is and your target market is first. Um, and this way you can really focus on um, what's the best word of putting it? I mean, you can really just really focus on them and what their needs are um, and just know uh, what their hot topics are. Because if you know what their pain points are, it's so much easier to you know help them. Um, focus on uh, your desired out income and outcome. So um, rather than just the steps to get there, I was focusing on the process and I didn't get very far, but if you focus more on what your end goal is for your financial goal or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, um, you're going to get a lot more success quicker. I think that's what everyone keeps telling me. And then do your research on the social media platforms and what where your um, target audience, audience uh, goes and uses. What, what do they use? If you know what they use um, and go access to it, then you're much more likely going to access your target market there um, rather than spinning your wheels. And um, I've done that too. So I've learned I basically I'm giving you the benefit of what I've learned so far. And there's like three more points. Um, just setting up a social media accounts and joining the groups that target your that your target audience uses is so much better than trying to jump into the places that you that aren't going to find the clients you are looking for. Um, and then do your best to always add value because if you add value to the people in that group, they're going to come to you naturally um, because they're going to get to know you and trust you and realize you're giving them good advice. Absolutely. So, yeah. And then I bet you found that out too. And basically just um, focus more on advertising your business. And it doesn't always have to be a cost factor in that, but just making sure that you're constantly putting your 
word out there. Um, and I know you do a good job of doing that too, Susie. <laughs> I always see stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I think what stands out to me is the fact that you do your research on where your target audience is, because a lot of times people um, want to be on every single platform. Like I used to want to be on Pinterest and Pinterest is not for my audience. It's just not like I still post here and there, but it's not, it's not where my audience is. Um, I found, and as time changes, like you're going to have to adapt and change for social media, of course. So um, like Facebook and LinkedIn seem to be the primary ones for me. Um, so I love the fact that you said the groups and engaging with target audiences and stuff like that, because that's actually a lot of how I've gotten my business up and running is just Facebook groups and um, being able to um, pin people and engage and connect and share. So there's just so many benefits to that. I totally agree with that. So thanks for sharing that. My pleasure. Um, and then where can people find you to learn more about you and your business? Oh, well, the primary ones I am on are Facebook and LinkedIn, Twitter, and my website. So okay. those are where and they can also access my email. Um, and if they, if they need that, I can, um, I can screen share that if you would like, because I have those websites up there, or do you want to be able to post links down there into the it's up to you. Yeah, so yeah. I'll be able to post the links um, into the little information. So I'll probably do the website and then like one or two other ones. So they'll be able to find you um, that way as well. But I just wanted to see if there was um, a specific way that they could find you on here. Yeah, perfect. I'm on other things like Pinterest and Alignable. But like you, I found that Facebook and LinkedIn are really where my, I have had very little traction on, on Twitter. And yeah. so I really spend more of my time on Facebook and LinkedIn. Agreed. And I feel like that's just, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're finding the common grounds. Um, so that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody else finds the common grounds too watching this because, you know, we've been in, through, in and out of this, you know, so we know the ins and outs. Um, exactly. Anything else you'd like to share? Um, basically, I just like doing what I do because I like helping others succeed. And that's the whole reason is I want to give people a professional image and the only way to really do that is stop being the solo person doing the webinars because I found one thing that watching some people um, and I've watched it cringing when I see them asking people, people that I respect, asking them to post their audience to post polls or links into their audience just isn't professional. So it's much more better if you would sit there and either plan ahead with uh, an event moderator or have a manager help you do the same thing. Um, just because you want to get your, give your best foot, foot forward and your image is everything. So if you're sitting there and posting all that yourself and forgetting it, you know, what you did the previous day and asking someone to go look for it, it doesn't look, make you look professional. So it's always better to um, get help. And it doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg. Um, but at the same time, you get what you pay for, so make sure you you shop around. I mean, it, and hopefully it's somebody that you could connect with. So, um, but yeah, definitely, definitely make sure that to put your best foot forward. And um, I really encourage anybody who is doing webinars uh, that have to have chats and stuff like that, having an event moderator or someone, a manager, or someone who could go in there and uh, engage with your audience will take the pressure off of you so you can focus sharing your message is so much better that way um, but that's just my message yeah that's great I'm glad to hear that for sure all right well I will post the links below for where you can find her and um, feel free to reach out to her and I think that's it thank you so much Marie for letting us interview you thank you Susie I appreciate it Bye. have a good one bye, bye.